Hello and welcome to another episode of the GDScript Fundamental Tutorial Series. In this episode, we will be talking about enums. So what exactly are enums? Enums are a data type that contains a fixed set of constants. Just for your information, enums is short for enumeration. Enums are good when you want to assign consecutive integers. So how exactly do you declare an enum? Well, to declare an enum in GDScript, all you have to do is type out the keyword enum, spelled E-N-U-M, followed by curly braces. And inside those curly braces, you type out the names of your constants. For example, writing the first script up here is the same as writing constants at the bottom. Keep in mind when you declare an enum like this, what you're really doing is setting these constant names inside the curly braces to be globally accessible in your script. One thing to know about enums is that you're assigning integer values consecutively. So the first constant name you have in your enum will be assigned the integer value zero. The next one will be assigned the value of one. The next one will be assigned two and so forth. So keep that in mind when creating enums, you're starting your integer assignment value at zero. Moving on, if you don't like the fact that assigning integer values for enums starts at the integer zero, you can change that by simply adding an equal sign followed by the integer value you do want to start. As a matter of fact, you can assign any integer value to any enum constant whenever you want to. Let's look at this example. As you can see here, we have the same enum set as our first example, except I'm injecting the integer value 10 to our enum constant name front. Basically what this means is that our assignment integer starts at zero and continues to increment by one until we hit the front constant. When we hit the front constant, what we then do is assign the value 10 and then we continue from there. So while left and right have both values of zero and one, front will have 10, back will have 11. Now, if you don't want to set your enums globally, but rather have them assigned to something almost considered as a mini class, what you'll do is you'll type the keyword enum followed by a name for this enum set. And then you have your curly braces followed by your enum constants. When you do that, your constants are no longer global. That means in order to get the value from your enum constants, you'll have to call out the enum name you created, in this case, moveset, followed by the dot notation, or rather the period symbol, followed by the name of your constant, which by the way is case sensitive. Now let's go ahead and look at some code. As you can see here, I have a basic GD file and I've created two enums. The first enum is a globally set enum. What that means is that our constant names are globally made, which means that we can call them like we would any other constant. Let's take this line for example here. To get the value of enum constant neutral, all you have to do is type out the word neutral. In the second enum set, I have decided to declare an enum name followed by its value set of constants. In this case, the enum name is food, and then we have our values. In order to call that in our script, we would have to do the following. Call out the enum name, which is food, followed by the dot notation or period, followed by the enum constant name. In this case, by calling food.good, we are getting the value zero. If I were to change this to bad, what we would get instead is a negative one. Now keep in mind, these are all constants. So if you were to do something like this, trying to assign a new value to an already created enum, what you're going to get is an error. And it's gonna give you the can't assign a new value to a constant error. One thing to keep in mind is that the integer value first assigned to your enum constant will be the integer value zero. So let's say I get rid of assigning the first constant, the integer value one. It's gonna happen is instead of one, we're going to start at zero and increment by one from there. In this case, neutral will have zero, enemy will have one, friendly will have two. Of course, if you don't like assigning your values incrementally from zero, you can start your value from anywhere you like, and you can also assign different values to your other enum constants. Let me go ahead and reset these values. Well, that's all I have for you in this episode. Don't forget to download the GitHub repository with the sample code you see here. Play around with a little bit until you get comfortable with enum values. Signing off, I hope to see you in the next episode.